This is my super quick guide on how to use CoSchedule's social media features to automate some of your social media marketing. So CoSchedule is primarily a content marketing planning calendar kind of thing. And this is what it looks like. And that's useful, that's good, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about how you can use CoSchedule to automate your social sharing. And to do that, I'll show you a post here. In WordPress, when you go to your post editor and you have CoSchedule installed, then you'll see that there is a CoSchedule section in your post editor. And what you can do here is you can add a social campaign. And this is something that you set up a social campaign once and then you can reuse it. So you have templates over here and so, for example, we have a template called promote new blog post. You apply this template and it gives you some input fields. So here I would add headline variations for this post, right? I type in a headline here, type in a headline here. Um, maybe add a quote from the post, a question. So that would be a question that would prompt people to come and check out this post. Another question, some stats, a shout out if we mentioned someone in the post and some hashtags. And then I can also upload images for different share networks. And it will then take all of my input here and automatically populate all of these share messages for different networks and automatically schedule them out for today, tomorrow, next week, next month, and so on. So basically, I do this once when I publish my post, I fill out these fields. So I give it a few extra headlines and so on. It's maybe a five minute writing job. I upload a few more images and then everything else is automated. So automatically it will be scheduled out. It will be, and, and this post will be shared and reshared over the coming weeks and months. Now this is something you set up yourself. So you can choose which networks to share to, um, how to combine these different, you can choose these input fields, right? How many headlines you wanna, you wanna put together and all of these input fields are custom. So you choose all of this and you basically set it up once. So this will take a bit of time to set up the first time when you decide how do I want my posts to be shared. But once you've set it up, it becomes a very simple job. And so this is what I recommend you do. What we have is we have one of these schedules for uh, sharing newly published blog posts and one of them for sharing existing blog posts. So if there's a blog post that did well, that is still relevant, that maybe we haven't promoted in a few months, or longer, we can go back and again, it's like a five minute writing job filling out these fields. And then we have a whole schedule of reshares going out again. So in this way, co-schedule can save you a lot of time in just managing what gets shared where and when.